If you're having a litter of newborn puppies, it's super important to know what eclampsia is and how to identify it. If you don't, literally, you can lose your dog's life over eclampsia. Stay tuned. You're not going to want to miss this episode of Breeders Hacks. All right, guys. What if I told you guys right now? What's going on, bully fam? Eclampsia. If you don't know what it is, it's something you should get very familiar with if you're going to have litters of newborn puppies, right? It's something that I've seen breeders that don't know how to identify it that could have quickly nipped it in the butt and their dog would be here today. But unfortunately, them not knowing what they're dealing with when it comes to eclampsia, unfortunately, their dogs have passed away. So I want to cover real quickly what it is, how to identify it. And if you treat it quick enough, you should be golden. You won't have any issues. But if you don't treat it, it goes untreated. You can you can lose your mama dog. Let's cover what eclampsia is real quick, right? So eclampsia is a deficiency in calcium typically with nursing dogs, with females that are having puppies, have had puppies, are going to be having puppies, whatever the case it may be. They drop their, their, their calcium drops significantly. And I mean, it would only naturally make sense. I mean, when they have fetuses, when they have puppies, so on and so forth, that's draining them of a lot of resources. So calcium, their calcium drops and it, and it drops to a dangerous level. Typically where you'll see the female, she'll start to get shakes, shivers, things like that. And like I said, it goes untreated long enough uh, she could have seizures and, and and die and pass away on you. The first sign that you're going to see with eclampsia, in my opinion, from my experience, and we've had that happen. We had it happen before, right? It happened like once or twice before where the dog, she started getting shakes. She started getting the shakes. And we were like, what the heck is that? And luckily, my mentor was able to tell us, hey, that's eclampsia. You need to get her calcium right away. And then this is something that what I want to show you guys right now, we started implementing with our our nursing mothers and we never had the problem ever since but i've had some breeders who like i said they reach out and they don't address it quick enough and the female passes away we have mama's food here right so when she's done nursing we're going to go ahead and we're going to give her some food right we got some ground beef here especially when they just had puppies they usually don't want to eat so we try to incentivize them with really good interesting tasty food for them right so with eclampsia, like I said, it's a deficiency in calcium. So what do we do in order to prevent her from her calcium from dropping so low that it becomes near death? Well, we do two things. The first thing is we give the dog uh, a postnatal. After the puppies are born, a lot of people forget this. We do a postnatal now and it's going to give her a lot of the nutrients and resources that she needs so that the puppies don't deplete too much from her and then it becomes life-threatening like i said eclampsia is life-threatening if I, I could find a clip or a video of a dog that's uh, and, and showing signs of the the typical symptoms of eclampsia I'll, I'll, I'll put it here in the video video to show you guys but a postnatal it's gonna really help giving her the nutrients that she needs so that then she doesn't go into a, a deficiency that she, you can't come back from you know so a postnatal is huge that's what it's designed for for dogs that after had their puppies to give them the vitamins they need, right? But here's the second part, right? Is particularly eclampsia is based off of calcium. So this is an old tip trick that uh, my mentor had taught me, right? Is this is after she's had the puppy. We don't do this beforehand because you could also have issues with giving too much calcium before she has the puppies. This is typically after. Um, we'll take a couple, of, a couple of tums, not a whole lot, a couple, maybe like what? Like one or two, Sandra? Take like one or two. We'll crush them up, right? We'll crush them up and we'll put them in her food. Then we'll go ahead and mix it around, right? So we'll typically do that. Like I said, take just some regular Tums, nothing special, nothing added. And then we'll go ahead and take like one or two, crush it up, mix it with the food, give it to mama. And yet again, it's all about incentivizing mama to eat. Because if she's not eating, then you have an even bigger problem on your hands. We crush up the Tums because it's dense. It has a lot of calcium in it. So between the postnatal, and the calcium from the Tums. Um, and like I said, a lot of older breeders do this trick. Mix it around in the food. When she's done nursing and she's ready to eat, offer it to her. It'll usually, I mean, it always prevents the eclampsia, but that's just what we do as a preventative. That's not like any kind of medical advice or anything like that. That's just simply what we do. And we haven't had eclampsia since, but if you do have eclampsia, what I would highly suggest is make sure you get to your vet ASAP. They can test through the blood and all kinds of stuff like that just to confirm 
the, I the issue at hand. So this is yet again, this in no way is supposed to be any replacement for the advice from your vet. I strongly suggest you should go to your vet, get their opinion, get some blood work done, see what's going on with your dog. But at the same time, this is something that we do as a preventative. So then hopefully we don't have to experience any symptoms of eclampsia and we don't have to take the dog to the vet. That's typically what we do. Like I said, Tums and a postnatal. And as long as you don't see those shivers, those shakes, another huge thing is always make sure you're taking the dog's temperature. Um, those are usual indications of if there's something wrong or not. But when you see those tremors, when you see those shakes, the dog's kind of moving like this, you know, try giving the dog calcium. That's exactly what the dog needs. But at the same time, you don't want to just, when you see those, start giving the tums. Get to the vet because if she's too far along with the eclampsia, if you didn't address it early enough, that may not be enough to get your dog to where she needs to be to stabilize her. So that's why going to the vet is so important, but that's why we give Tums and the postnatal as a preventative. So anyway, guys, I'm gonna let mama hang out with her puppies. She's doing great. As you can see, yet again, because of the postnatal, she's not bowling her coat. She's not having any issues. These puppies are super girthy and healthy. I can't believe, look at this one. Anyway, guys, so yeah, I hope this information is helpful. I hope it's useful. Do a little bit of homework on your own on eclampsia. I just want you guys to know what it is. So if we ever come across it, it's, it's not a life or death situation for you. All right. So I hope this information is helpful. I hope it's useful. See you on the next episode of British Hacks, guys. All right. All right. What do you think? Damn, Wilson.